Welcome or welcome back to French Action. This is Jenny with another video, but this time on French pronunciation. As you know, French pronunciation is very different from English, and I will try to help you to improve your French pronunciation by sharing my do's and my don'ts. 10 tips which will show you how easy peasy lemon squeezy French pronunciation is. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! The French usually start with the don'ts, so that's what I'm going to do. Tip number one. Don't read French the way you read English. Even though over 50% of the words in English come from the French language, the pronunciation is different. Look at this object. We say in English, table. That word comes from the French, but guess what? They do not say table. They say table. Table because the A, which is the first letter of the alphabet in French is A. So because it's A, we're going to say table and not table. It is table in English because the first letter of the alphabet in English is A. So what I'm saying here, you need to use the alphabet so that you can pronounce some of the letters correctly. Tip number two, don't pronounce all the final consonants. For example, the S or X used for the plural form are silent, which is the same with the E and T, which we have as an ending for the present tense. Just look at this sentence, for example. What is in red is just telling you that you should not pronounce it. Les enfants mange tous les gâteaux et boivent tout le jus. Je répète a little bit faster. Les enfants mangent tous les gâteaux et boivent tout le jus. But be careful. We could have words ending with an S or T. They are silent unless they are followed by an E. And I'm going to show you some examples. You have petit and petite. So when you have the E for of the feminine form in petite, you have to sound the T. Je répète, petit, petite. Abi, habit. But be careful here because we have two different meanings. Abi and abi is an outfit, an item of clothing. Whereas habit, jabit, I live. Frais, fraise. Frais means fresh. Fraise, and I say I actually pronounce the S is like a Z. It's a Z sound between two vowels. And it's strawberry, which is not quite the same thing. And abu, abuse. Abu, abuse. So we have the noun and we have the verb. And here again, we have an S between two vowels. So we are going to say Z. Abuse. So very quickly, petit, petite, habit, habite, frais, fraise, abu, abuse. Tip number three. Don't pronounce the H. We are going to say l'hôtel, l'hôpital. Le T, and here you're going to see that 
The H is really silent. We're just pronouncing the T and the A sound. Le T. Le théâtre. Tip number four. Don't pronounce the R too harshly. I'm going to show you what I mean. Very often I hear le ver de terre est près de la mer. That sounds really harsh to the ears. Why not say something like le ver de terre est près de la mer? Je répète, le ver de terre est près de la mer. The earth worm is near the sea. Tip number five. Don't fight with the French G, J or C. I'm going to explain what I mean. So these are some examples you have in English, George, J, George. In French, you try to say the same thing, but in French is Georges, not George is George. For example, for the country Japan, we say in English Japan, Japan, but in French it's not going to be the same. You're just going to say Japon, Japon. Another example, two words which we find in the same language, in both languages, which mean two different things. You would say to chat, but for a cat is cha and not cha. So I repeat the French, Georges, Japon, cha. Now let's move to the do's. Tip number six. Pronounce the E when it has an accent. Whenever you have an E with an accent, it has to be pronounced. There are three types of accents in French. So I'm going to give you some examples. The first one with it, which is accent aigu, télé, short for télévision, which is television. Then we have the accent grave, mère, mère. So in this case here, you have to open your mouth, air, mère. It means mother. Finally, we have the accent circonflexe, which is the little hat, as some people call it. And it has the same pronunciation as the accent grave, fet. And here I'm going to pronounce the T because there's an E at the end. And we have to remember that the final E at mer or fet are silent because there's no accent. So accent aigu is acute accent. Accent grave is grave accent. And accent circumflex is circumflex accent. To continue with the A sound, I would like to add that ER or EZ at the end of words give you the sound A. For example, danser or chez, chez which means at somebody's place. And be careful not to pronounce the Z, otherwise you end up saying this word, which is chaise. So be careful, che and chaise. Since we talked about the A sound, which we have in the acute accent, I thought that I would add something like this, which is words ending with ER and EZ. They have the same pronunciation. So, for example, to dance would be danser, even though there's no accent on that E, but ER gives you the same sound. Che, 
at somebody's place. Okay, when you say chez Marie, for example, at Marie's house, chez, the Z is silent and we have the sound A. In fact, if we pronounce the Z, it becomes chaise and chaise means a chair. Tip number seven, pronounce the S accordingly. What I mean is it depends on where your S is. If you have one of them in the middle of a word or two. Now, when you have two S's, you have to have the snake sound, as I call it, dessert. But if you have an S between two vowels, and I said it before, we're going to have a Z sound. So the first one is the snake sound and the second one is the worm sound. I know they're silent, but you know what I mean. So how would you pronounce this word? Le désert. Le désert. What about this one? Dessert. Le dessert. Tip number eight. Pronounce the final F. And I'm going to show you the words. Neuf. For example, you know neuf already as number nine, but it also means brand new. Oeuf, and oeuf. Soif, for thirst. Active, active. Tip number nine. Pronounce the final C with the following words. Avec, which is with, donc, therefore, chic, stylish, park, a park, sac, bag. And we have l'Arc de Triomphe a beautiful monument in Paris, l'Arc de Triomphe. However, a word of caution, there's two words I can think of where the C is silent, tabac, and bon, bon. Je répète, tabac, bon. And tip number 10, which is our final tip, it's the issue with the ga and go. Okay, you know that sound already with the word gâteau, for example, which is cake, or frigo, which is fridge. But if you want that sound to be ja and jo, you have to add an e between. And that's what we're going to do, ja and jo. Je nageais, I was swimming, and Peugeot, which is a car brand, a French one. Before I finish, I would like to do two things. One is to pronounce some common words with an uncommon pronunciation, and two, to give you a little exercise at the end. So it's just a couple of sentences that I would like you to pronounce. So let's start with those funny words. The first one is femme, 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 which is woman. Then you have monsieur. Monsieur, it's a funny one because really M-O-N gives you mon, which is my, my sir, originally. 
But from mon, we are saying me. So, monsieur. E. Des e. So, be careful. Earlier, we had un neuf. And now, I'm saying des e. And I'm also making a liaison with the S and the O. Des e. Eggs. This one is a funny one because OI gives you wa as a sound and yet we say oignon. Oignon. Which is closer to English actually. And the last part is this one. If I want to say my son, I'm going to say mon fils. So the L is not pronounced but the S is mon fils as opposed to les fils. Le fil, the S is not pronounced because it's a plural form, but the L is and it means thread. So be careful. Here's a little exercise for you. It looks easy, but think about all the things I have told you before. And I give you some time to think about it so that you can come up with your pronunciation and then I'm going to give you mine. So I'm going to read those two sentences for you. Les hommes ont soif, donc ils ont bu beaucoup d'eau. Par contre, les femmes ont mangé tous les gâteaux. So, I'm going to repeat this a little bit faster. Les hommes ont soif, donc ils ont bu beaucoup d'eau. Par contre, les femmes ont mangé tous les gâteaux. We have come to the end of this video. But please note that French is pretty much like the sea, okay? So you need to really speak just like this movement of the sea. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir.